my cheeky M words, in this video today, I'm going to show you how to get over 1 million points an hour in Nightmare Zone. And with the correct setup and arguably a maxed account, you could squeeze out easily 2 million points an hour, no worries. However, this method is not AFK. Normally, people will use Nightmare Zone to max their attack, defense, and strength to 99 so they can get to Theater of Blood and end game raid content as soon as they can with a 1500 total level, just to die in bloat room because they can't run in a square and they've got brain damage. So this is more catered to those who want to play the game for the content, who want to just get in, imbue their Slayer helmet and rings and get the fuck out. Now I will be performing this on my group Iron Man account, Fat Virgin. Here are my stats, I'm combat level 99 so you know, it's not going to be the most efficient, but I can easily squeeze over a million points now, especially if I have reasonably decent RNG. This account is progressing really well. I'm quite happy with the way it is. We've got the Sarasword at 1kc. I've got a bow for at 30kc. Group Iron Man, by the way, the Corrupted Gauntlet, no big deal. I live stream this account pretty much five days a week, absolutely fucking smashing it, dropping my cocks. So make sure you come by to the streams right here on YouTube, discord.gg slash bigdickenergy so you never miss an upload. So the point of this video is really to help you imbue your shit as quick as you can so you can get out. It's not AFK. If you find this video helpful, make sure you drop a fucking like and hit the subscribe button down below. Now the setup, pretty simple. I've gone with the, the prayer setup because I like to use a bit of prayer when I'm in there. It probably doesn't matter. If you do have uh, more strength bonus or accuracy related gear, throw that on by all means. Obviously using a Sarasword isn't going to be better than a Whip, Rapier or Scythe. So as you can see, the DPS I'm going to have in here is going to be what it is. But we do have the best in slot mole slippers and the incredibly broken barrels gloves. Over in the inventory, you want to make sure you have ice gloves, super handy poison, a couple prey pods, rock cake, and just fill it with shit. I've gotten five overloads and I don't fucking know how many absorbs and potions, whatever you can fit. Talk to this cunt, do the normal, I've already paid for it I think, um, but it's the, the normal rumble, I'll cancel it, who gives a fuck, it's only 16k. You want to right click dream the onion and go uh, customizable rumble hard. Easy. That's what you normally do anyway. Yep. 16k. Not a problem. Next. This is the important part. The monsters you want to be choosing. It's pretty much fucking everything. The more quests you've done, the better this is going to find. So I recommend doing almost every quest in the game. Uh, I don't think Dragon Slayer 2, Monkey Madness 2, or Song of the Elves really matters. But you just want to make sure Elvarg, Slagalith, Dagonoff Mother. Actually, no, we'll put Dagonoff Mother on, but we'll keep Tanglefoot off, Glod, uh, Chronazon, Barrel Chest, Giant Rock. Those are really the ones you don't want. So I'll go through that again. Barrel Chest, Giant Rock, Chronazon, Glod, Tanglefoot, Slagalith, and Elvarg. Everyone else you want turned on. Now, the reason this is, is because the more people you have enabled, the more points you're going to get. However, these guys that are turned off are the ones that will actually fuck you regardless of absorption potions. Some people turn Corrupted Lizard Man off. I don't because it's an easy kill and the Super Andy Poison is an easy bypass. It costs fuck all. So we're going to accept that. Oh shit, we go straight in. Okay, cool. Things to remember is you're not going to really be using the pickaxe. I don't think I've got that shit enabled anyway. I don't care. Rune spawn on the floor. That's fine. Uh, we're going to instantly overload and just do the standard. Eat or guzzle the fucking rock cake as fast as you fucking can to get down to that low fucking HP. Make sure you absorb potioning as well. That's pretty important. So make sure you're down on 1 HP. Pretty standard. Nothing changes there. Drink the fuck out of the absorb potions. I am on the Lunar Spellbook because I'm lazy and couldn't be fuck swapping. You can go to the normal spellbook so you can use a couple spells, but it doesn't matter. The things to remember here are Dream Mentor enemies and Song of the Elves, like this gun here, are your target. You kill these first over all things. Song of the Elves and Dream Mentor are a priority because they do the most, uh, give you the most points, but you want to kill. This, these fucking sounds are annoying. The golden rule to follow when in Nightmare Zone for this method is to kill Dream Mentor and Song of the Elves as soon as you can. Those are your priority because they're going to give you the most points. What the fuck was that? Dad, fuck off. Stop beating me, please. My childhood was bad enough. Make sure you fuck up Song of the Elves and Dream Mentor as soon as you can. If there's a, what is it, like the, the ultimate power that kills everything, don't grab it while Dream Mentor is on the field. You don't get points for ultimate power. If there is no Dream Mentor or Song of the Elves, grab ultimate power as soon as you can. Doesn't matter what's on the field. No one gives a fuck. You just grab those and kill everyone and refresh. There's no comparison to the amount of points you get from Song of the Elves and Dream Mentor Monsters. Other than that, just go for whatever's got like reasonably low defense, like a Moss Giant or a Hellhound. They're easy as fuck. I think these guys are meant to be annoying as shit. Don't worry about anything like that. These are mechanics you ignore unless they're like the only four monsters out there. For example, Dagonoff Mother, Experiments. I think there's that one cunt out of a uh, Desert Treasure that gets naked when you get to the second phase. I don't know why he does that. It's a bit weird, but... That cunt uh, in the invisible shadow dungeon. Don't fight them. Just leave them alone. Let people fucking respawn. Wait for the next power up to pop up. See what you get. Who the fuck is that? Is that Charlotte Village? Fuck him. Okay. Just get away from dad because he really does beat your fucking cheeks. And basically just sit here fucking overloading and absorbing. Just keep fucking cunts up, boys. That's it. 
I'm already on 1.2 mil points an hour. I've been in here 10 minutes. I've killed three things. Song of the Elves, Dream Mentor is the priority. But I'll keep going for another 10 minutes or so just to give you a more accurate description of what sort of points I'm getting. But do remember... Oh, shit. Hold on, my overload wore off. Do keep in mind that this is not an AFK method. So you will not be able to stand here and just walk away from your computer and come back every 20 minutes to make sure you don't log out. You do have to pay attention because... You will be getting fucked by certain things. You need to grab certain power-ups to clear the room. And there's some... Yeah, it's just not worth your time half the time trying to fucking kill cunts. All right, boys, we've got two dads in the field. It's like my childhood is coming to life. This really is the fucking nightmare zone. Holy shit. Both my dads beating my cheeks. Fuck off! Stop! Oi! Fuck you, cunt! Give me a fucking... Bah, 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 bah. Fuck out of here. What do we got over here? Power surge. Yes! Look at that. A nightmare zone, boy. Switch priority. He is the priority, the everlasting. Get the power surge. I'm pretty sure it gives me unlimited special attack. And that's why I bought the uh, the Sarasword. It's a fucking main. The special attack on this is beautiful. You can bring any special attack weapon you want, but why the fuck would you not just spam this spec? Look how fucking good it is, dude. Look at that. Just constant fucking damage. Yes, please. Everlasting. Easy shit. Easy points. We got 114k points currently from this run. Let's see what sort of fucking points we get after this. Dad, can you stop beating my fucking cheeks, please? Dad, fuck off. Dad, fuck off. 114k points? What do we get? 141k. Look at that. Easy 30k points. Still earning 1.1 mil points now. Just fucking bing chilling. What else we got out here? What's the next fucking spawn? Let's get rid of dad, actually. It's starting to annoy me. Bear in mind again, guys, I am not using a super heavy damage per second uh, method. I'm running base 70s and 80s in combat stats. We're running a Sarasword and fucking Proselyte. You're going to get almost twice as much points as this if you go ham. Especially if you bring like a siphon here for the meme. The sweatiest and richest of players trying to get the most points now will legitimately just cancel runs if they don't get Night uh, Nightmare Zone or Song of the Elves at the start and refresh until they get something juicy. Khazard Warlord, easy. He's got no defense. He's got one fucking uh, phase. The reason I don't want to fuck with Nazstru or uh, the Witch's Experiments is because they have more than one phase, which means killing them doesn't really fucking do anything for a while. So you kill cunts like this guy. And wait for a uh, ultimate power to pop up so you can refresh the entire wave. There's an obvious factor to how many points per hour you get as well, which is called RNG, essentially. Yes, you can kill things faster. That will give you a low amount of points. But also, the more Dream Mentor shit you get that you can clean up quickly, the more points you're going to get. So if no Dream Mentor shit is spawning, here we go. Or Song of the Elves, like this kind of I think you want to avoid his arrow, right? Like that. It shouldn't matter, please. Fuck yeah. The more these guys spawn, the less uh, issues you're going to have. So there's an ultimate force here, but I don't want to use the ultimate force while Song of the Elves guys up. So I want to claim this guy out quickly and then grab the ultimate force if I can. They can despawn, so if, if that happens, so be it. Oh my god. I need a fucking overload now. So if we kill this guy, then get the ultimate force, that's fucking huge. We've got 163k points so far this trip. And after we kill this cunt, 192 fucking K easy, and then kill these three rats, they're out. Time for a fresh fucking wave. Always grab the ultimate force when there's no soap dream mentor, and you get a fresh clean wave of dog shit. However, corrupt lizard men, drink your super anti poison, there's two of them, they're easy kills. And if you drink the super anti poison, you won't die because the poison is the only thing that will kill you through your absorption potion. So just keep that in mind. Kill the corrupt lizard men, get them fucking out of here. And then I guess just. Take on the Titan? I think the Scarab is a piece of shit. I think you don't want to kill the Scarab, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that sounds right to me. Fuck the Scarab off. You know what? Fuck this. We've got another Ultimate Force. Kill that cunt. Grab it. Reset. No Soat. No Dream. Oh, shit. No! I can't believe I've done this. That was the big boy. No. Guys, that... Oh, I don't think I can make this into a video. I can't believe I just did that. That, that was the biggest... That was the ticket. That was the... That guy would have given me like 80,000 points without a fucking doubt. Don't do that, okay? You, don't do what I just fucking did, okay? I fucked up. That was, those big boys, the inadequacy, they are the ones you want to kill. They're, that's the fucking cash cow. <laughs> Fuck me. That was just, that was just bad timing, unfortunately. I should have done it before I killed the lizard man, just let him go. I really should have. But those are the ones you want to have spawn. If you have like four of them spawn in a row, you're fucking, you're getting three mil points an hour if you're fucking good. In my personal opinion, this is the way to be doing Nightmare Zone. Get maximum points an hour to absolutely smash fucking through the content because you don't want to waste six hours here AFKing just to imbue a fucking ring. Get in here, two hours, you can have a ring and as you slay a helmet imbued, no worries. Here we go, Nightmare Zone. This guy's a fucking annoying. Agaf Nana, he's going to teleport me into melee range. So, oh god, here it comes. Stop! Fuck off! You come to my melee range, mate. If you're in melee range room, it's not too bad, but just keep on trying to aim the fucking... What's his name? Dream Mentor kind, alright? He's the priority, not this guy. It's also not a bad shout sometimes, I think, to wear, like, Dragonhide in here. Bless Dragonhide. So you get a bit of a prey bonus and also, like, protection from cunts like this. 
is a little less cancerous. So really between Sight and Dream Mental Kills, it's a matter of waiting for an ultimate force and killing the most annoying or lowest defense cunt. That is literally how this game is played. And guys, remember, I'm only 99 combat and I'm getting 950k points now. We've honestly uh, fucked up one inadequacy and pretty, I would say, below average RNG, kind of. I don't think I've got the absolute best RNG currently. I think I've had, uh, I think it could be better. So that's just to give you a good gauge of how it's going. Recurrent damage is huge. Pick that fucking shit up. Run back over to this cunt. Get rid of the fucking, give him the chop. Send it fucking bop. Who's that? Yes. Get him. Dream Mentor. Fuck everyone else. Zappers are also fucking huge. They don't attack everyone though. I think like Dagonoff Mothers and some other fucking useless cunt doesn't get hit. I can't remember. This Damas guy. This is the guy that gets fucking naked when you attack him. I don't know what... It's a bit of a strange fetish he's got, but just ignore him, because then he starts fucking with your prayer too. Make sure you keep your fucking... your HP low. I haven't actually had to use the Ice Gloves yet. They're used on uh, Flambeed and Farid, I think their fucking names are. If you see them, they're from Desert Treasure, but they look fucking weird in here. Just put on your uh, Ice Gloves, kill them, and then put your Barrier's Gloves back on, because that's really all they're for. Other than that, that's why the Ice Gloves are here. Who the fuck is dying in here? Dagonoff Mother. Guys, you know what you do with this? Don't touch it. Oh, sorry, the gelatin off mother. What a fucking name. Uh, yeah, ignore them. Don't even fucking bother trying to fight it. You can pick up the runes if you want to get real cheese, but just fucking ignore it. What am I doing? I said don't fight it. So I feel like, in my opinion, honestly, at this level, the zapper is the best power-up, but I think uh, recurrent damage becomes the best when you've got more accuracy and a harder-hitting weapon. But Sarasword being my favorite fucking weapon in the game, yes, get the untouchable. Oh, no, he's naked. Boys, he's stripped down, he's shirtless. Hold on. Stop! Get away from me, cunt. Fucking draining my prayer. The Untouchable is actually fucking hard to hit. Holy shit. So about 25 minutes into this dream now, guys. And we are getting over 1 mil points now without a single inadequacy kill. Ultimate power does not give you points, so be careful when using it. And don't do what I did by killing the only inadequacy I've had so far with ultimate power like a fucking chimp. Please kill this damaged cunt. He's absolutely fucking my prayer. So yeah, guys, as I was saying, just be careful with your uh, ultimate powers. Don't make the mistake I made. Make sure there is no fucking uh, Nightmare Zone or Song of the Elves guys up before you do that, and you'll get a shitload of fucking points. Ignore the Dagonoff mother. Try to ignore this damaged cunt, and you should be fine. Go over here. Kill the black demon, because it's got no defense. Who do we get next? Moss Giant. Pretty easy. No defense. Might kill the Moss Giant first, actually. I absolutely fucking love the zapper. Get rid of this boy. I have no idea if this, uh, kill, 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 What the fuck? Get off me, cunt. No, stop! This guy here, whatever his name is, the Kulinur... Kul... Kulinurum... Kulin... Kulinurum... Kulinurum... Kulin? Kul... He's dead now, anyway. If that cunt doesn't, uh... I don't know if he does any damage. I'm not fucking sure. But I know this guy... Oh. Hold on. Wait. Well, that... Yeah. Look, I was averaging 1 million points now. That's the fucking point, okay? It works if you pay attention. You don't fucking have a stroke midway trying to pronounce a fucking retard name. That doesn't make any fucking sense. And it's clearly not a fucking English word. Like, fuck you. Point is, guys. That's a, that's, that was a million points now on an account like this. It's a level 99 group Iron Man account that I stream five days a week here on YouTube with a 30kc fucking Bofa by the way and a 1kc Sarasword. I'm setting all kinds of world records here on YouTube so come by to the streams. If you want to learn more about this game, you know where to you, you know where to come by. Discord.gg slash BigDickNG. Drop a like, drop a sub, don't be shit. Most importantly, suck a fucking fat one and I will see all of you cunts in the fucking stream. Now fuck off. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him, goddamn! Fuck me, look at that boy. It's huge!